TJ here. One of the most common positions you're gonna find yourself in in BJJ or MMA is the guard position. Now, depending on what sport you're practicing and whether you're on top or bottom, the advantage is contrast. So in this video, I'm gonna cover the pros and cons to the guard position and how it relates to jiu-jitsu and MMA. Let's get to it. What the guard is essentially is our legs. From the bottom, to establish our guard, we have to get on our back, wrap our legs around our opponent's hips, and cross our ankles. One thing I want to point out is when we cross our ankles, it's considered closed guard, and if our ankles are uncrossed, it's considered open guard. This is important since the top position needs an open guard to pass, and the bottom position needs an open guard to submit. From guard, it's easy to isolate and control the limbs and neck for submissions and sweeps. You have the most amount of submission potential from here, and it's one of two places you can truly stay offensive from the bottom. In tournaments, it's a good place to stall since the responsibility is on top position to pass. However, you do need to have active hips and a strong grip to be effective, so generally speaking, you use more energy in this position. Some even call it a young man's game. From inside guard, there's no clear advantage. In tournaments, the possibility of scoring points is greater since passing is easier than sweeping, but there's no immediate danger or submission you could put your opponent in. On top of that, you are predictable since your first step will always be to break open the guard to even have options. And most of the time, that will be a dogfight. When someone is inside your guard in MMA, it's different. You still have the versatility to sweep, submit, get out, and stall. However, stalling is more effective in MMA since there are subjective time limits to stalemates. And contrary to just BJJ, top position has more options. You can still break guard, pass, and now you have offense and ground and pound. Also, there are ways to punish stalling tactics by maneuvering your opponent's head to the edge or corner of the cage, ultimately reducing their mobility and allowing you space on top to reinforce your strikes. And that's the pros and cons breakdown of the guard position. Make sure you account for these differences when training. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you did, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Like always, if you have any questions, list them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Coach EJ.